That's where they've spent their money. Because their linebackers aren't good enough. Their secondary is sketchy, especially when Slay went out of the game. Yeah. And he wasn't having a great game to begin with. No. He was giving Claypool a huge cushion throughout the afternoon. Damn, man. Just finished watching that Eagles Steelers game. Philadelphia Eagles, as you all know, lose 38 29. Man, that game right there had me fired up. Like I was like, I was on the edge of my seat for that one. Like, um, listen, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like, my feeling throughout the game was I was kind of riding with the team as we fought. Like, I saw a lot of the dumb stuff we did and all that. But my feeling while watching the game wasn't that we played horrible. Um, then I had like a, uh, an argument with a close friend of mine who watched the game who kind of pointed out some things like where the Eagles shouldn't have fucked up with um uh with Gary on uh that number 19 guy uh whatever his name is hey think about them dudes uh who was killing us all day their little rookie receiver that the, that the Steelers have and um I was kind of you know arguing with him because I was just in the mode of filling the team and all that then I don't know I watched the post game with Seth Joyner and like Seth Joyner went all the way in on Jim Schwartz and honestly like I got to I got to I got to kind of agree. All right, listen, I'm going to start here. Um Carson Carson Wentz, man, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to get a read on how I felt about his 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 game today, right? There was that old dumbass interception that led to 7 points. We did not need that. However, like I saw a lot of good in the way Carson played. Like I feel like he's gaining some confidence. And one of the reasons is he found a, a wide receiver, you know, who he's at least can consider reliable. The boy Travis Fogum, I feel good about that moving forward. I think he's a guy, man, that can be a nice possession receiver. Um, so I feel, while I feel encouraged by that, and I feel encouraged by Wentz, like throwing the ball with some type of authority and zip, I felt like he fought. Like I. I, that's the way I felt. Like, I wasn't that hard on the team because that's the way I felt through the game. Like, I'm I'm a, I'm a lie. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, I mean. But, um, the fucking, the defense gave up 38 points, man. Like, Jim, 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 Jim. That wasn't, see, this is what I'm trying to figure out, really. Um, is Jim Schwartz a good defensive coordinator? A bad defensive coordinator? Or is it that we, he's a, is that we just have a good line. You know what I mean? Because the last couple of weeks, the defense didn't look that bad, especially against um, uh, the 49ers, right? But I think that was more so defensive line. What's behind the defensive line is kind of mediocre at best, with the exception of, like, a few individual players, you know, Darius Slay or whatever, who did not have a good game today. Um, Jim Schwartz was kind of trash today. He was kind of trash today, though. Though I think there was some good plays just made by their players. Like, I respect Ben Roethlisberger. He was zipping the ball in some places, man. Like, but, um, damn, man. Damn, 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 damn. Let me go from the top. Doug, I don't really like the game Doug called today. I think Doug Peterson was subpar today. You run Miles Sanders 11 times. For 80 yards. You give the ball to Miles Sanders 11 times when Miles Sanders early in the game runs a 74 yard touchdown that is pretty much that pumped the smoker to the team, gave the whole team the confidence they needed. What I want to see Doug do, what you need to do, man, is you got to, like, when you see you have a guy like Miles hot in the game, you got to make sure he gets the ball, whether it's through running him whether it's through passing the ball to him, whether it's through using him in screens, you got to get the ball to Miles Sanders, especially with the team hobble like it is. All right. I feel bad for Doug because Lane Johnson goes out again, and this time he's carted off, so I don't know what the deal is, man. I don't know. We got to get the, 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 the report on that. I don't know if his, his ankle is, is just out again, but that's some shit we do not need to hear Lane Johnson going down. Um... Um, but Doug, I need to see it more running. This was way too much passing, way too much passing, way too much passing. And Doug, man, um, 
Carson, like I said, played this. I believe this was his best game, even though he had that dumbass interception. This to me, Carson looked better this week than he did last week against um against the 49ers. To me, this was the best Carson I've seen so far. I'm encouraged by that. But this game was more than winnable. You can't go out there and give up 38 points. Um, the coverage got soft towards the end of the game. That that was bad. Uh, but still going back to the play that really broke our backs, which was that pass to um, to the rookie Steelers receiver. To me, the prop the 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 fault the fault to me more than it on than anybody was on McLeod in my opinion. Um, and th this is the reason we have X a number of corners, right? Darius Slay goes down. He's your best guy. He's the guy you need to have on, on that slot receiver. That, that receiver who was killing us all day, they put him in the slot. Juju Smith-Schuster and the other guy haven't killed you today, but you still have to respect and, and be concerned about the wideouts because Ben will throw it out there. He is that type of arm to make all those passes. McLeod is supposed to be the like the quarterback on the defense, especially in coverage situations. So when he's back there, okay, he has to read what's happening. What I expect McLeod to do is to see the mismatch of Gary on number 19. All right. Gary should have raised his hand, whatever. He should have saw the mismatch. And immediately McLeod should have put all his attention right there. He should have put all of his attention on him so that the guy's virtually doubled. He ends up, like, not going there. He's over here somewhere else reading something else. Gary is just ends up on, on number 19, and, and there you have it. The game was just over from that point. Um, other other notable issues, um, the, the, that time where Doug uh, goes for the field goal with Elliott and instead of going for it on fourth down, I mean, I think I would have uh, went for it on fourth down at that time, like, why not? I, you know, Wentz can run, or you can like catch Miles Sanders on like a little hitch. You can go like catch him like in the flats, or you could go looking for the tight end, and um, which is a disappointing thing. Zach Ertz, this is the most disappointing I've ever seen Zach Ertz. He's very ineffective so far. Um, but he, but Doug, I'm not gonna kill him for going for it with Elliott because I mean Elliott has made 64 yarders, and I also understand that if he'd have went for it and not got it, most of us would have been complaining that he should have won for the field goal. That's just one of those types of things, man. Um, overall, I'm definitely disappointed that we didn't get the win because I think this game was very winnable. At the same time, I'm not too 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 pissed at the whole team in general. I think Jim Schwartz was trash today. I think Doug. Um, Caught a very bad game, but I think Carson played well. Carson played well, though Doug caught a bad game, and Jim Schwartz was not very not good today. Um, because I do have to agree with Seth Joyner that towards the end, when he starts to get uh, conservative, that uh, led to the type of play that they had, the non-aggression, which led to the touchdown. I do agree with that, man. So this was a tough one. Um, this was a tough one. Though I don't think we were, we were the favorite, it would have been tough to kind of win this game, I think. But I'm encouraged by Carson, I'm encouraged by Fogum. And I do feel a little better going into the thing with Baltimore, hoping um, Deshaun comes back. That way we can have Deshaun Jackson maybe with this guy Fogum, and maybe uh, this will put us in better a better position to beat a team like uh, Baltimore. Baltimore actually don't fear as much as Pittsburgh. And the reason is because of, the, you know, the quarterback, Lamar, or those type of quarterbacks who, like, run and do a lot of that kind of stuff. I don't really fear that much. Um, so, but I, I'll get into that, man, later in the week, probably around Wednesday or Thursday, man. But this was a tough one, you know. Uh, but with that, man, I'll see you guys, man, later in the week. You know, I'm out.